staff at the planning department. Um, there's been a lot of work that has gone into this and a lot of constituent input, council input. And what I think they've been able to do to put together with this, along with addressing the 10 super neighborhood concerns, has been quite a feat. And I think she deserves a great deal of recognition for that. Um, I'd also like to thank you guys for your patience in dealing with all this. Um, I know at times my patience has run a little thin on the issue, but it seems like everybody's seeming to come together towards the end and we're actually going to see some real results uh, going forward that I think uh, most people and, and people can be excited about supporting. Um, I'm going to reiterate some of the points, I'm not going to flesh them out, but uh, we do support the home builder's position that we think the delayed implementation could possibly be shortened or could possibly change the acreage size. Uh, we do believe that it is a disadvantage to some of the smaller builders. And when you're talking about an acre, that's 43,560 square feet. So that's, that's a pretty large number. You know, we can, we can shorten that out a little bit. Um, I'd also like to point out some of the comments that we've talked about. When we're talking about exporting development that's been inside of <coughs> and outside of 610. A lot of the townhome and multi or the redevelopment going on in 610 is at a 1,400 square foot, 1,500 square foot uh, lot size. According to the amendments that we're going to be passing, a minimum lot size of 3,500 square feet is going to be set. You're not going to be able to get below that 3,500 square feet unless the block face or subdivision averages 1,400 square feet. So we're not going to be exporting these three-story townhomes and packaging the same development that you're seeing inside 610. The reason you're getting that inside 610 is because of the cost of the land. Once you move out further and that cost of the land goes down, you may have a larger footprint. You probably will have a larger footprint for these lot sizes. So it's not going to be as dense as, as predicted in some instances. I guess at this point, I you know, yield my time to any questions. And Mr. Sanders, thank you. Chair Rick, that's not Excuse me. Josh, I want to particularly thank you for your time that you've given me in helping me understand different perspectives on this. Um, I, I think I think the idea that that uh, there are differences in terms of parts of town is is worth looking at. Um, it's it's hard to really consider not giving the neighborhoods the time they need. I think that maybe looking at the a more strategic or more precise. Uh, size based on what average lot sizes are in my district is is at least something to consider. Um, I want to thank you for the work you've done because you work particularly hard. I think um, making sure that people had a clear understanding for all this. So I want to thank you. Thank you. Sure, recognizes member last. I just want to. I just like to also add my thanks to you, Council, that you did all of us over the last several months in this project. 